So if you came here to learn Kung Fu Y, great. I don't know how you decided to learn Kung Fu Y, but it doesn't matter. Uh, great, you're, you're ready. Let's get started. You can skip to the next part. Uh, if not, if you're like thinking, why should I use Kung Fu Y and not just uh, a website where I can press a button and get something done? Well, that's what everybody else does, all right? Uh, so if you want to be special, if you want to stand out, if you want to do stuff that other people don't, then learn Kung Fu Y. Yeah, a lot of people use Kung Fu Y, but it is the hard part. It's the hard puff. And the hard puff will get you the best results every time, all right? That doesn't mean that you can't use uh, uh, websites. You can use websites uh, like Clean AI or whatever, Mid journey, yeah, they give you, they give you great results, and that's great. Uh, uh, be ready to spend a lot of money on it. Uh, Coffee you why you can run it on your computer, and you don't spend any money. Plus, on websites, you got a lot of restrictions. Uh, you got a lot of censorship. I got friends in photography that are trying to do like stuff with tattoos, and they get censored in the, in these kinds of uh, websites. So it's it's a bummer. It's very limiting sometimes, and you, you know, and you spend a lot of money on that. Now, uh, considerations to have uh, Confi UI on your computer, you can run it on 8 gigabytes of, RAM, of VRAM, uh, so it depends on your GPU. You can run it on 8 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, but it's very limiting. Uh, not all models are, are going to run on there. There's no way you're going to do video on it. Uh, so I would say 12 gigabytes of VRAM, it's a bit better, you can do more. 16 gigabytes, I would say, uh, it's basically the minimum that I would recommend. Even though with 12 gigs, you can get away with a lot of stuff, 16 would be the minimum that I recommend. You can use for uh, RAM, uh, for your PC RAM, 32 gigabytes uh, would be a bare minimum, I would say. Uh, but I would recommend 64 gigabytes of RAM, okay? Not VRAM, RAM. If you can get your hands on um, a 5090, that's great. Every, everything is going to run smoothly, uh, um, and it's, it's going to be a dream working with a 5090, okay? I, myself, am on a, um, on a 4070 Ti, which has 16 gigs of VRAM. So on my tutorials, I'm gonna show you how to, what you can do with something like that. I'm gonna show you how, what you can do on your computer. Uh, images, it's, it's, it's all right. 12 gig, 16 gig, you should be fine uh, to do images locally. Video, not so much. Uh, even though I'm gonna share some workflows with you that you can use, uh, that you can do with video on a 16 gigabyte um, uh, VRAM card, uh, it's still, you know, not everything is going to be usable. And if you want production ready, like hot, really high quality stuff, you're going to have to, to use a powerful GPU. But don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to use a powerful GPU with RunPod. Uh, price is not that expensive. It's like 90, uh, it's like a dollar per hour. Uh, renting uh, 5090, for example, where you can do a lot of stuff. You can prepare stuff at home on your computer, and then when you go there, you just uh, generate really fast, and you can get a lot done in an hour, which costs you one dollar. All right, so enough said. Let's get you up and running. Let's install this on your computer, and see if your computer does not burn. Uh, I'm just kidding. Take it easy. Uh, so let's go into this website. Um, to you can go either to Confiorg and go into download, and go into install from GitHub. Uh, you also have these uh, front end uh, one, but uh, most most tutorials you're gonna see are gonna be from the portable version. So if you're going to install from GitHub, you get to the Confi Anonymous uh, repo uh, where you got Confi UI. But another place to go, and I'll put this link on the description, is straight up to Confi Org uh, from GitHub. This is the official repo. The other one is also our official repo because you get there from here. So I, I want you to come here because you got Confi UI and you got the Confi UI manager. And I, even though you can run Confi UI without the manager, I, I would suggest that you get the Confi UI manager. It's going to make your life a lot easier. So that's why we're going to install today. We're going to install the Confi UI and the Confi UI manager. So let's first go to the Confi UI. Okay, so if you go down here to releases, 
uh, you can press the latest uh, straight away or just press uh, all the releases. Now, ConfUI gets updated very uh, often, like every week, sometimes twice a week, okay? So you want to be up to date with ConfUI, so you want to be updating constantly. So, um, this is the latest release, as you can see here. So what we can do is uh, either get your AMD, if you're running on an AMD. Um, all my tutorials are going to be Windows uh, and video oriented. So if you have problems with AMD, I'm sorry, I can't help you. I don't have an AMD card. So we're going to press this one here and we're going to let it download. So save it to your drive anywhere you want. Uh, once you got it, you're going to have a file like this one here. OK, so uh, ignore these two here. This is my old installation of ConfUI and I just um, opened this up. So if you right click this and extract all, uh, it's going to extract this folder uh, to wherever you, you want to have it. And inside you're going to have all this, right? So run NVIDIA GPU is what you're going to use to run it. We can run it already as soon as we unpack it and all that. And when you need to update, you can go to update and just uh, run update coffee UI. All right. You can also do it from the manager. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to install the manager now. So now going back to the link that I share with you, uh, going back to Confi Org repositories, we can press the Confi UI manager and it will tell you how to install. Uh, and this is going to be the Confi UI manager It's going to be on your Confi UI. And it's very easy to install. All you have to do uh, is copy this code here. And as you can see, if I just control C on my computer, as you can see, they tell you to go to this directory and run CMD. So if I go to my directory or where we installed everything and you see all this stuff, I can go inside of ConfUI, go into custom nodes, uh, press this here and write down CMD and press enter. And now a uh, little window is going to pop up. This is the CMD, the command line. And here I just paste this and, and press enter. Because I already have it, it, it gives me a fatal error. Uh, in your case, it's going to install it. It's really fast. Don't worry about it. And you got your Coffee UI manager installed. And now we can run Coffee UI. So if I go back and come here and uh, go up a few directories, I can run NVIDIA GPU. Now, in case you want to have this elsewhere, you can drag and drop it into, into your desktop. So if you click on it and drag it to your desktop and you hold Alt, you can create a link in desktop. As you can see, I already have one there. So let's run it. And all this file does is actually run a Python application, OK? And you can actually edit it on VS Code or something like that and change a few things and uh, we'll might get into it. As you can see, this is the command that is that it happened. Uh, Windows standalone build, blah, 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 Python, XA, config UI, main. So we're running that script. Now it's going to be installing all the dependencies. Let's let it do that. OK, so as soon as it installs, uh, it's going to open up a browser window. And I actually had a old um, workflow here. That's why it came up like this. Usually what you're going to see is just a blank page like uh, like this one and the templates. I think the templates show up. So if you go to templates uh, either here or if you go here and browse templates, same thing. You already have a bunch of templates that you can play with uh, and you're ready to get started. Okay, that's it. You're up and running. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I hope uh, you got it up and running in your system and um, I'll see you on the next video. Yeah? Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell.